Step 3, Change Account Settings. Account Settings is where you can update the email address or cell phone number that you use for updates. You can also correct your name if you spelled it wrong or if you didn't properly capitalize it the, fr the first time. You can designate your country and time zone. You can change or add a photo. Just remember that those must be school appropriate. You can also sign up for and manage text and email notifications and you can change your password. To access account settings, in the upper right hand corner, click on the drop down by account and choose settings. As you can see, you can also log out and access help from this drop down. Under settings, you have the main account page. This is where you can add or change your email address. Correct your first or last name, say if you spelled it wrong or if you didn't properly capitalize it. And you can also set your country and your time zone. These settings are very important. You can end up turning in assignments late or missing quiz deadlines if these settings are not correct. If you aren't sure what settings to use, check with your teacher and always make sure you click on Save Personal Info. Account Settings page is also where you can change your avatar or add a uh, personal picture. Edmodo comes with several preloaded avatars that you can choose, or you can choose a file. Make sure your photos that you use are school appropriate. Again, no drugs, sex, gangs, violence, anything that's inappropriate for school, just don't use it. The email and text update tabs allow you to choose if and how you receive Edmodo updates. Assignments, alerts, quizzes, and direct messages are probably the most you want updates on. You can get updates through email or through text messages. Remember, if you're using text messages, make sure you have unlimited texting. While your parents may be glad you're staying connected with, with your schoolwork, going over on your text messages might just irk them a little. The password tab is exactly what it says. You change your password. Anytime the teacher resets your password, you should go back in and change it to something that you will remember. Remember, your password should include letters and numbers and should have upper and lower case letters. Since we're talking about cell phones, here's just a quick note. Edmodo has apps. You can find apps for Apple products and Android-based products at either iTunes or the Google Play Store. Just search for Edmodo. This is the end of the Edmodo Scavenger Hunt Video 3.